Hey there gamer guys and gals. Today we're outside of Peddler's Market. It's in uh, Beckley, West Virginia off of Harper Road and behind the uh, Pasquale's. And uh, it's in the old uh, Antiques Mall. And uh, we're gonna go in here and check it out. I heard they have a lot of cool toys like for toy collectors and also a lot of gaming stuff. So let's, uh, let's have a look. So right off the bat we see have a lot of cool like aluminum signs, a lot of really nice antiques. They're just opening up so it's not completely set up yet. And sorry if you can uh, barely hear me because I'm wearing the mask like you're supposed to. So far they have a lot of retro antique stuff and I heard there's a lot of games and toys and stuff here. But for now they definitely have the antiques out. And I'm looking at the prices and they don't seem that bad on a lot of this stuff. Alright, here we go. Here's the the toys you can see they have a huge selection of Barbie stuff I got a skill crane machine another huge section of Star Trek toys I'll definitely be going through this stuff more off camera I got a lot of Marvel Legends here I know there's a lot of Marvel Legends collectors they got some NASCAR and sports figures right here. I see a uh, Joe Montana from my buddy Herb. And he's a huge Niners fan. Uh, Donnie as well. They got a pretty decent Funko section. I talked to the guy and he says he has like 800 more. And they're going to want, they're going to start carrying a lot more Funko. So for you Funko collectors. You might want to drop out here and check out and see what they got. I see some wrestling. They got TV set up with a DVD player. Look, Blu-ray player looks like they have a lot of wrestling videos. I see a Star Wars section with a ton of Star Wars books. Oh, right here, right here's mine. They got a He-Man he section. I see three or four uh, Snake Mountains, which I loved as a kid. Castle Grayskull. They got some real Ghostbusters figures in here. A ton of He-Man. Look at all these He-Man figures. Tons and tons of He-Man figures. They look like they're only about 20, 25 bucks a piece. Most of them. I might have to grab me that Ram Man before I go. I even got another Shiva Castle, Snake Mountain, and Grayskull right here. I see they have some more Funkos in the uh, cases. Some Stranger Things and uh, Game of Thrones. Some gaming ones. They have some cards. I see they have some Star Wars figures. Look at this. They have a bunch of arcade machines. Special Forces Elite Training, Metal Slug 4, Outrun, Virtual Cop 2. Uh oh, my buddy Henry's gonna love this. He's a Rampage fan. Rampage World Tour. Got a small uh, Turtles 2 machine. Miss Pac Man, Sharpshooter, Cruising USA. We have another Miss Pac-Man machine, police trainer. We have a pool table over here, and a bunch of like retro pictures. So this looks like this is gonna be a pretty fun place to hang out. 
because of uh, this right here. We have, let's just go walk over here. Instead of trying to tell, tell you and show you from the back side, let's get a better look at it. We have some comics and sports mags. I heard, he heard him, him say that they were gonna start carrying subscription comics so you'll be able to get more. But they've got some monitors set up and they all have some cl uh, classic uh, consoles. We have the Sega Master System there. We have a Sega Saturn. We have a NES. Got a Dreamcast and the original Xbox. Don't forget that they're not done setting up here yet. They just now opened yesterday, so I give them a little time. They got some retro consoles for sale, I see. Got an old NES, an Atari 2600, PS3, Genesis, PS1, and a Wii. And we have some more over here. We have an Atari 7800 set up. We got a PlayStation set up. We have an old NES set up. We got a Genesis set up with Sonic ready to go if you want to come out here and play some Sonic. Got a SNES. It looks like it's uh, Ghosts and Goblins in there. Uh, we got a Nintendo 64. We got a Nintendo GameCube. And we got the Wii over here. And it looks like we have some uh, retro games for sale as well. Here's a whole case. I might have to take a look at these before I leave. NES games. Some Super Nintendo games, some Nintendo DS. We got a Game Gear in there. Hey, we got a uh, Switch in here for sale. I wonder how much that is. I'm needing to grab another one. Got another NES for sale. Dreamcast, Saturn, Playstations. Bunch of games. And, uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to be the place. Uh, I'm going to get an interview with the guy and see what he has to say more about it. But as I walk out there, let's look at some more of the antiques they got for sale. I see a bunch of laser discs and stereos, some band t-shirts. Oh, I got, got an Intellivision out here. We got a Tinky Winky for all you Teletubby fans. That's probably before most of your times. Got a creepy, creepy, creepy looking clown here. So a few toy hunters. I would definitely come out here and check this out. There's a, a lot of old toys. I see some glasses. I'm gonna look at these because I loved these as a kid. These Flintstones glasses and stuff. I used to love to get these from McDonald's and Burger King and stuff. They've got some chipmunks. Yeah, I'll have to look at those before I go. We got some cereal brand ones like Hunt Smacks, Tony the Tiger, old Mickey Mouse cups. There's a whole ton of toys to look at out here. They even got the whole display for the Star Wars toys I was collecting. Some more Funkos. We have a little sports section. Get you some Mountaineer stuff or whatever your favorite team is. I don't see any Browns or Indians. Uh oh, I see something here from my buddy Kelly. He wants you a Joseph New Kids on a Block figure, like a 12 inch or 15 inch doll. Here you go. We got some more sports stuff here. Yeah, I see a lot of cool stuff, so you should definitely come and check it out. But let me uh, find this guy and uh, 
see what he has to say. Hi, I'm Tom Mosley. Um, we have the former Beckley Antique Mall that we have revitalized. Uh, the front side of the store, of course, is antiques. It's peddlers, antiques, and collectibles. And within that store is my favorite hangout back here, which is a combination of the Comet Castle, which is going to be comics as soon as we start getting them in. And we do have some vintage toys already on the shelf, Masters Universe, and some Transformers, Thundercats, a few things. Uh, we do plan to start bringing in newer toys, and I do have a big load of Marvel Legends that should be in by next month, some older stuff. Um, <clears throat> we also have Vintage Arcade. If you're my age and Christian 50, this was the hangout in the 80s. So we're going to come in here and we're going to play these games. And this one over here is the bomb. This one is a 60 in 1, and it has 60 vintage video games on it. She's not on right now, somebody's cut her off, but this one has all four Pac-Man, all three Donkey Kong games, Burger Time, 1942, so whatever you played in the arcade is in this little puppy here. And then we have the big things like Rampage, Outrun, Virtual Cop 2. It's not a huge selection, but it's enough to keep you, keep you busy. Over here, minus our, our mess, we are working on this. We're still building it, so if you come in, please look over at the disaster. Uh, we've got the air hockey table. We have the pool table. You can come up and shoot pool and not be around cigarettes and beer. And then this is the biggest thing. Uh, my friend Shannon Ingram, my partner, is bringing in a gaming center. So basically over here, and over here, he's going to run tournaments a couple of times through the, through the month. Um, <coughs> they will be advertised on Facebook. You can come in for about five hours a day and play any vintage game that you want to play on any system. And he will have some packages for monthly and family and so forth. Uh, that just helps us keep the cost of repairing the machines. But we want a place that's fun to hang out, fun to be at. Of course, we all have to social distance a little bit. But as we work through COVID-19, we still want to have fun. Uh, another thing that's coming as you can see, we have a disaster all over the tables here. This is a bunch of stuff from the move. But these tables will be operating twice a month for a swap meet. So you all can come up, pay a small fee to set up, and you all can trade amongst yourselves, sell whatever you need to do. Um, we're going to try one Saturday to be toys and comics, and then the next Saturday will be video games and gaming systems and try to get a mix up so you guys have a place to come, meet with each other, trade around, buy, sell. Basically, this is the biggest clubhouse in Beckley, and that's what we want it to be. So please come on down and enjoy, uh, enjoy yourself and, and uh, introduce yourself. We do buy, sell, and trade toys, comics, and gaming systems and games. So that's something else we can do. If you have a pop collection you want rid of, or or an old He-Man collection, come down and see me, we'll see what we can work out. But basically, we want something for everyone down here. We want everybody to come out and have fun and, and enjoy yourself. In closing, I just wanted to say you should definitely check that place out if you're in the area. Uh, it's good to see something for the kids being put out there. It, uh, city's not the best right now, so it's good to see something uh, keep them off the streets and keep them uh, doing something to stay entertained so definitely go check these people out they're so nice they're really nice people it's the kind of people you want to give your business so definitely go out there check them out uh, talk to them you'll enjoy it. it's pleasant it's a pleasant atmosphere and it's they're pleasant people you're really going to enjoy uh, your time out there it's, they're, they're just so such kind people and just so friendly and uh, ready to communicate with you and talk to you and they're doing it because of, they love toys they love games and that's why they're doing it it's more of a hobby to them so go out there support support local business and support uh, good causes and good uh, recreation for uh, the kids but uh, thanks for watching guys as always thanks for your support uh, please hit like please share so people other people around here can see this this it, it needs to be seen. People need to get out there and have somewhere to take their kids, something to do. 
But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.